Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the ranges of trig functions. So ranges of trig functions. This is really important for calculus and for other math classes. Um, so first, very key identity, the sine of theta is between 1 and negative 1. Super important, worth just memorizing it. Uh, very, very key. Cosine of theta is also between 1 and negative 1. Okay, also the same. Two, tangent and cotangent can be any number. So tangent and cotangent of theta can be any number. Okay, this can be any number. It can be seven, it could be, could be any number. Okay, so the range of these functions is all real numbers. And three, this one's not as important, but you can reason it from these up here. So if sine is between negative one and one, then the reciprocal of sine is cosecant, right? So cosecant of theta, so it's one, cosecant is one over sine. So this should be less than or equal to negative one or bigger than one, right? So because it's, it's the opposite, it's the reciprocal of, of sine. And then secant likewise is either less than or equal to negative one or greater than or equal to one. Okay, so now we can just do a couple of simple questions uh, using these, these facts. So the question will just say possible or impossible. So possible or impossible. Possible or impossible. Okay, let's do a couple of these. So A, A, let's see. Uh, is it possible for the cosine of theta to be equal to the square root of 3? Well, cosine of theta is between 1 and negative 1. Square root of 3 is bigger than 1. So this is impossible. Impossible. So it cannot happen, right? Because cosine of theta, we know it's always, no matter what, between 1 and negative 1. So this is impossible. B. What about tangent of theta equals uh, pi over 75? Tangent of theta equals pi over 75. Well, tangent can be any number, so this is possible. So it's possible. So it's certainly possible for tangent to be equal to that because the range of tangent is all real numbers. Okay. And one more, um, sine of theta equal to 0 0.002. Well, this is possible, right? Because this is a number between negative 1 and 1. And we know that the sine of theta is between negative 1 and 1. So this would be possible. Possible. So the key thing to take away from this video um, is... Tangent and cotangent can be any number, and these here. These are important too, and it's good to know, but I think, honestly, this one is the super, super useful one for calculus. Hope that made sense.